light camera action hi blog welcome to my guys hi blog welcome to my guys shout shut down what's up guys this is mahin photos by mahin uh, i'm gonna do a video today on what's in my camera bag so let's talk about the bag first it's a 35 liter bag and <laughs> My buddy here, he knows how to talk to clients, he knows how to deal with all, all all the other stuff, people love him, you know what I mean? Ladies love him, everybody love him, right? Oh. But when it comes to making video, it's hard, ain't it? It's huh? hard. Yeah, okay. Okay, get out of my video now. <laughs> it's a 35 liter uh, bag, I can carry daily or I can, when I go on travel, um, or like out of state weddings and stuff, I can carry my all cameras in there, all my equipments and everything on top of that, I can carry some clothes in there. My main camera body I use in, in every wedding is my Canon EOS R. Before that, I used to use my uh, DSLR uh, Canon 6D. The reason I use it because um, it's Canon's first mirrorless camera. It came out like a couple of years ago. It's a great camera. It's a 33 megapixel, I think. 32, 33, something like that. Shut down. And I paired the camera with my 85, 1.4, and then I have a Piffin Pro Mist filter in it, so it gives uh, the photo like a dreamy look in it. For my second body, I use a Canon EOS RP. I use it for uh, group photos uh, for the stage or out of the stage or anything. I use this one and I pair this with my 35 Sigma 1.4. The other lens, my Canon 1740 F4. If I have like a really tight space I have to work on, I can. it can go really wide. It's okay on low light, that's why I try not to use it. But I have a second shooter with me. I usually give them this one so that they can run around and use this one. So for my flashes, I use two uh, Godox V1C. These are really good uh, in terms of uh, like battery life. I can charge uh, one time and I can use two full events with one charge. So I have this bag, it's like a two in one. If I'm traveling somewhere, I carry this. I can turn this into a whole backpack. Also I like to store my clothes and stuff. Also if I'm carrying just one camera, one lens and a flash for like a small event family photo shoot or portraits like i can have my cameras in here you know and in here i have my sd card slot i have like tons of sd card even though sometimes i forget in my house and then i have to run to cvs but this is this is really nice then i have this battery pouch i can store three batteries and over here i have some adapters for my ipad i have a pan for my ipad my ipad it's a m1 chip ipad pro uh, 13 inch which is really good when i need to back up my photos when i'm traveling and all those like i can use this one on the other side of the bag i usually have film camera with me when i'm traveling and then here i have my camera strap it's like a double shoulder strap and i can just attach my camera so this is all my setup the whole setup i have even if i go like out of state or in state somewhere you know i i carry all this with me maybe sometimes i don't carry this one most of the time everything else i carry oh at the end I, I'm gonna say this to everybody gear really doesn't matter like I really don't you know I used to use a Canon 60 and I still did a good job with that you can shoot whatever you have and uh, if you know what you are doing uh, you can do a good job so i think my buddy here was trying to say is that gear doesn't matter your personnel matters you know what i mean yeah like he's the, he's the photographer he knows how to use these tools now if he handed him an iphone and told him yo man can you take some nice photos and stuff like that he'll be able to do it it's all skill at the end of the day like i think that's what you were trying to say yeah. right it's all skill at the end of the day yeah I'm, I'm not good at it <laughs> yeah don't worry don't worry i'm gonna get him there yeah, but practice voice. makes perfect no matter how much money you got in your pocket you you can't substitute that for knowledge and experience yeah we outside we outside <laughs>